So hello guys. So this problem is also related to the topic friction. So the problem says determine the maximum force B that can be applied without causing the 250 kg crates to move. The coefficient of static friction between each crates and ground is 0.25. So dito guys, sinabi na yung crates natin parehong 50 kg. Then we are going to find the maximum force B kung saan hindi gagalaw yung dalawang crates natin na nakakonect sa isang tension. So dito, kailangan lang natin mahanap yung maximum force P. Meaning, kapag sumobra tayo sa P, dyan na mag e yung ating grade. So, yung hahanapin natin is yung maximum force ng P. Now, yung P natin, or yung force applied is naka-angle ng 30 degrees. Then, yung hour surface is 0.25 from A and B. So, yung first step natin dito is to separate these two grades and create free body diagram on each. So, ganito yung free body diagram natin sa A. So, ito yung magiging itsura ng free body diagram natin sa A. So, yung weight natin is 490. So, bakit ng 490? 50 multiply natin sa 9.8 meter per second squared para maging newton. Then, makam up natin itong 490 newton. Then, we have tension. So, ito yung nakakonect from block A to block B. So, ito yung tension natin. And, it is acting to the right. Then, we have friction force. So, ito yung um, forces na opposite sa ating motion. So, we assume na yung force or yung movement is going to the right. So, therefore, yung uh, resisting force natin is going to the left. Next is, we have normal force between surface. So, it is acting perpendicular and going upward. And, ito lang yung apat yung ating forces na present sa block A. So, yung hahanapin natin yung mga unknowns. So, solving. So, let's first solve. Solve for and so to solve normal force, since yung normal force natin is acting vertical, so why not to try summation f of y equals 0. So n minus 490 equals 0. So yung n natin is equals to 490 newton. Then we're going to find also yung ating dn frictional force. So para mahanap yung dn frictional force, they are both lying sa horizontal. So yung gagamitin natin is summation f of x equals 0 where in T, minus frictional force equals 0, or T is equal to frictional force. However, hindi natin alam yung value ng T, either T and frictional force. So, meron tayong formula para masolve ang frictional force. So, frictional force is equal to mu times N. So, dito, given sa ating problem na yung mu is 0.25. So, why not to substitute yung 0.25 and yung N natin na nasolve is 490 multiply sa 490. So, yung frictional force natin is equal to 122.5 newton. So, ito na yung frictional force natin. And, substitute sa ating equation dito na yung T equals frictional force. So, yung T rin natin ay pareho yung value. So, T is also 122.5 newton. So, since nasolve na natin yung tatlong anodes, kasi apat lang yung ating mga forces na nag exist sa ating free body diagram A and nasolve na natin yung tatlo and frictional force and T so pwede na tayo mag-proceed sa B so dito let's create free body diagram for B so ito na yung magiging itsura ng ating free body diagram B so first we have weight na 490 ganun din kanina 50 times 9.8 490 newton then we have frictional force so it is a uh, resisting force na acting opposite sa ating force applied so yung force natin is going to the right so meron tayong frictional force na acting to the left and we have also tension na going to the left so ito yung uh, tali na nakadugtong sa block A sa block A natin and block B so ito yan so yung tension natin is acting to the left so dalawa yung force natin to the left so T and frictional force then we have normal force so it is a uh, reaction force from the ground so it's going upward and yung P natin is yung ating hinahanap. So, ito yung P, which is uh, 30 degree above horizontal. So, just like this. And since naplot na natin lahat ng mga forces, so, pwede na tayo mag-focus sa ating free body diagram B. So, dito sa free body diagram B, solve natin lahat ng mga known, especially yung P. So, para masolve ang P. So, since yung P natin is naglalay uh, either vertical and horizontal, so, kailangan natin mag ng equation na summation f of y equals 0. So, going up ay positive. So, and we have P. Yung Y component ng P 
is t sine 30 and minus 490 ito kasi downward equal 0 so dito we can found out na yung n is equal to 490 transpose ko sa kabila magiging positive at yung t i-transpose natin sa kabila magiging negative p sine 30 so ito na yung um, sabihin na lang natin equation 1 then let's proceed sa ating summation f of x so mga horizontal forces na present so meron tayong p yung x component ng p is cosine 30 minus frictional force minus tension so kanina sa ating uh, free body diagram a yung tension natin ito is equals to 122.5 so pwede natin itong i-substitute dito so minus 122.5 so yan yung value ng t natin sa ating a then copy muna natin ito equal 0 then next kung mapapansin natin sa ating equation pwede na natin ma-solve yung b kung malalaman natin ang value ng frictional force so let's solve first singit natin dito frictional force is equal to mu times n so dito yung mu natin sa problem is 0.25 then yung n natin substitute natin ito 490 minus p sine 30 then yung frictional force natin is equal to 122.5 minus 0.125 p so ito yung ating frictional force na value so isa substitute natin yan dito so p cos 30 minus 122.5 minus 0.125 p minus 122.5 equals 0 so kinapi ko lang then sinubstitute yung frictional force nilagay ko sa parenthesis and ito kinapi ko lang then once na okay na pwede natin to simplify I-distribute natin yung negative sa ating parenthesis. Then, negative times negative maging positive. Then, copy lang ito. Equals 0. Next step, combining like term. So, yung P natin. Ito. And ito. Combine natin yan. So, yung magiging itsura nyan is magiging P cosine 30 equivalent as 0.8 6p and ito plus 0.125p equals i-add natin tong negative at ilipat sa labas so magiging 245 so i-combine natin to so 0.991p is equals to 245 divide natin both sides So, ito, magiging 1. So, yung matira is P. And 245 divided by 0.991 is equals to 247.23 Newton. So, ito na yung maximum value ng P natin. So, ibig sabihin, um, P max natin o yung maximum applied force na required para hindi kumalaw yung ating system is 247.23. So, meaning to say, once na mag-greater than P, or let's say, uh, 250, so, mag-move na yan ng paunti-unti. So, isipin natin na yung P is times 2, mag-double, like ito, sabihin na lang natin mag-500 Newton. So, dyan mo na makikita yung movement uh, between these grades. With condition lang na yung P is 30 degrees um, above our horizontal. So, ganun lang mag-solve or mag-hanap ng maximum force applied dito sa ating uh, example problem.